you're just tuning in. My directors are cracking me up. <laughs> uh, we're discussing facilitating car trading in Nigeria. And um, let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Wayshow Africa One with the hashtag Wayshow. Or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 Okay, Jennifer, you have a comment with you. While you're taking that, let me um, AC. Okay, so before I read my comments, yeah. I have a very quick question. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so as a client or a customer, do I have um, the option of choosing if I want a new car or a fairly used car? Or yes. all you do is just new cars? No, so we have new, we have uh, fairly used as well. So essentially, it's you go on the platform, you find the car you like, and if that car qualifies for financing, you apply. Okay, so let's take comments. Understand you. Okay. I understand you do um, a lot of maintenance as well. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, we know that for brand new vehicles, they have the, you don't need to do so much work on them. But um, for Tacumba cars, mm -hmm. do we have some sort of warranty on them in case uh, uh, a key part of the car gets spoiled? Yeah, so there are certain parts of uh, the car that are key, like you said. Mm -hmm. And so for finance cars, one, they come with the annual maintenance contract. So this ensures that that car is actually being serviced regularly, right, and being maintained regularly so that the uh, car is also in good condition. On the other, all all also, through the period of the lease? Or yes, all through the, the, all through the period of the loan, the lease. right, okay. yes. And that is done through our standard, uh, standardized workshops that are also on our platform and, and, and in our ecosystem. Okay. Then to your question about warranty as well. So we're exactly. also able to offer warranty on certain uh, parts of the car that are very key as okay. part of your loan application. Can you and again, an idea? this is, so we, we're able to do a uh, warranty around things like the engine, Right, because again, this is very key. If your engine goes bad, right? So that, those are some of the things that, and before that car is financed, we also do a warranty inspection. So there's a first level inspection for every single car that's listed on our platform, and then there's a warranty inspection as well. So there's a second level check. Okay, let me take, take your comments and I have a question to ask. Okay, so we have a comment from Ade. He said, good evening, ladies. Please ask your guest, what's the heating content? <laughs> <laughs> What's the hidden content on the contract documents that are not readable with reading glasses? These hidden and non bold letters are what they used to knock down their clients. I had a contract today and requested the non readable and hidden messages to be boldly written. I requested for that today here in London. He lives in London actually. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I said it earlier. Yeah. So what are the terms and conditions? <laughs> okay, so um, this is another the person in actually not, state. She has not the question. Okay. So. Well, I mean, for terms and conditions, <laughs> apply. But basically, it is apply. The finance partners make the decision. It's based on your profile. You make your monthly payments. That's it. And you you have annual maintenance contract in there. You have insurance and also registration, mm. right? So everything is covered. It's just drive off with your car. Okay. I like auto it's check. They <laughs> just try to push everything to the financiers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, this, there's no name. And uh, it, the person says, please, do they also deal with farm equipment and also tractors and implements? We do have trucks. So, so I, I, I don't know about what type of farm equipment, Maybe but like we, have, we have trucks on the platform. Yeah, we have trucks on the platform. Not and tractors. We can, not tractors. But I'm sure we, that's something that we can also source for. Mm. Because again, remember, we're in the middle, and we're just bringing everybody together. together. So we can source so why do for I need to go well. through you? Because, I mean, I've done financing with a bank directly before. So what would be the, well, OK, apart from, well, OK. You have a lot of services, after sales services, the, um, the maintenance service, and all of that. That's why I would come to you. So how, you what's have, the need for you? You also enjoy variety. Oh, right? okay. Because if you're going to one finance one institution, dealer, yeah. right, you can just come to our platform, look at different types of so cars. So they give me different options. Yes. So you have different options, and you can do it all on one platform. Mm. All right. So um, Maury, you have a comment with you. Yes. Um, so... This person says, I had no idea I can walk into a dealership and get a car financed in a few hours. Nice job, auto check. This Thank is Garba you. from Kano. And he's asking if you have services in Kano. 
Yes, we do, actually. So we have dealers on our platform who are also in Kano. Mm. So basically, you have dealers everywhere in Nigeria? Or... We are expanding very fast across Nigeria. Okay. And it, we're also in Ghana as well. Yeah, I, yeah. I saw that. Mm -hmm. So I worry about the new wave of fintech loans and how privacy issues keep rising because of loan default. Customers, uh, customer friends and relative, relatives have been informed about a customer loan situation. That's Helen from Victoria Island. I don't think I understand, you know, completely what she's saying. But if you had one major issue, you would like to be, I mean, be the beacon of like solution in Nigeria when it comes to automobile industry, what would that be, you know? So it would be the fact that the ease of easing automotive trade, mm -hmm. easing access to cars for mm -hmm. every customer, you shouldn't have to go through a tedious process to own a car. Mm -hmm. Owning a car, let it should be something that's normal, that's easy, and you can also trust the process. Mm. So that's exactly what, and also the fact that you can get a car loan, right? Mm. Get a car loan, walk into any auto check dealer, ask for a car loan, and process it very easily, very seamlessly, and quickly so, as well. So where does the, the government come in in all of this? Because we understand that government policies play a very huge role when it comes to the automobile industry. I mean, see the time that they increase the, um, the tariff, mm -hmm. not even fuel, the tariffs for, sh uh, shipping, for shipping in, in cars. I think yes. it, it moved up to like 70% or something. I can't even remember. Based on the yes, model and, yeah. the, based on the model and all of that. That was crazy. I mean, there's no how you know, you are able to meet up with somebody that is just starting life, that is looking for maybe like a very clean car worth maybe two million naira that you will pay within two years and all of that, you know. So how are government policies, you know, disrupting that automotive space in Nigeria? So I think in terms of government policies, and like you said, there was an increase in tariff, mm. but right now there's been a lot of conversations. Reviews, they were working yes. with government to review it. So I think the way I would see it is uh, Government policies come in, but again, engaging with the stakeholders. Mm. So, for example, AutoCheck is a digitize, digitization partner for the Association of Bottle Dealers in Nigeria. Mm. And this is to ensure that even as we're bringing out this product, we're also working with all stakeholders to ensure that we're easing that policy. So we're not just doing it from a product perspective, but we're also bringing policy into it and we're making long-term change. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, okay, so you talked about uh, maintenance and repair. Yes. So say I bring my car. Jennifer wants to buy a car. <laughs> She's I, already sold. I want to convert you before I leave here today. <laughs> the reason I'm asking these questions is because <laughs> I have friends who are interested in buying cars. <laughs> yes, so. so let's help them. <laughs> so um, when it comes to maintenance and repair, and I bring my car back to you to do a repair, do I pay on the go or is this included in my loan? So for your servicing, right, that is included in your package. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to pay for your subsequent servicing over the course of your loan package. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. So servicing is covered because it's part of your annual maintenance contract. Mm -hmm. Has, um, you guys are saying, hmm. Because you know that. Nigeria, you don't understand. You know, I, I, I will still go back to the tweet. I read uh, somebody of this tweet that said, you know, Nigeria, we are so used to hardship <laughs> in this country. And that's why we're bringing it well, Let me finish this tweet. He said, said Nigerians are so used to hardship <laughs> to the point that whenever anybody comes and it seems like, ah, no, 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 this is too good. <laughs> no, 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 no. You will suspect everything. You will yes. say, ah, no, 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 it's not possible. Yes. You know, because it's not our fault. <laughs> I know what I'm asking because people have gotten into accidents where their cars were badly damaged. Mm -hmm. And by the time your car is being assessed, they're probably telling you it will cost you 300000 or 500000 for you to get it repaired. Now, you're saying that this is included. So there's annual maintenance contract included in your financing. There's also insurance, comprehensive mm. I was insurance. I going to go there. Okay. So to your point, if there's an accident, there's insurance for that vehicle. Mm. Okay, fantastic. Now I would say that is good. Yeah, <laughs> That makes sense. <laughs> okay, so what about butter? Have you ever considered making um, some sort of interaction with the car providers? Do you have some sort of battle with them? If, for example, um, someone has a Ford, and wants to you know trade it in and not trading it in just to pay a token and take the higher version of that car is it possible yes so what's possible with us is we offer trading 
Okay. And it's not even uh, limited to a certain make or brand. So you can bring your car in. Mm -hmm. Like I said, every single car that's listed on the AutoCheck platform is inspected. So we can inspect that car, run it through our auction with dealers on our platform. You get an offer for that car, and then you want to buy a new car, so you just pay the difference. So what if I don't want to buy a new car? I just want to give you my you can sell money. You, you can sell money. your car. Yes, you can sell your awesome. car and you get your money. <laughs> well, this is actually a good, because, um, but I feel that most times people, but we have Mori back, right? I feel that most times people think that if I go through you, I might be running at a loss. I'd rather sell direct. So for instance, I have a car and I want to sell it. I'd rather go and get a buyer myself directly because maybe I might make more money. If I come through you, you might undervalue my car. Is it, is, so there, is that a possibility? There are options for you selling your car on the AutoCheck platform at, or trading it in. One, you can get that car inspected. We make you an offer from our dealer network or you can list it on the platform, hmm. right? So you say you want 1.5 million, we'll list it at that 1.5 million and we'll let you know what offers you're getting. So it's not a, you have to absolutely accept this price, hmm. no. Maury. Maury, are you there? Did we lose her again? No, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, go yes. ahead. Okay, so, well, I have two questions. I'm always saving my questions because you people always come to me once in a while. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so <first question. laughs> Apologies, Maury. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. The first question is quite personal. You know, yeah, you said all the things that you can do for me and how much you love me and that's why you want me to have peace of mind. <laughs> um, I just want to know what is in it you know, for you guys. And the second question is, this, this is quite straightforward. Are cars a liability, yes or no? Don't lie to me. <laughs> she doesn't need to answer that. Not tell you that. I will tell you, cars are liability. <laughs> yeah, answer the other one. Um, so the, your first question was, OK, uh, what's in it, what's for, you, in it yeah. for us? For us yes. yes. So essentially, we are offering uh, this service. And we are working with all the different stakeholders. And we just we have a commission that we earn, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not, yes, you might talk about the fact that, oh, uh, are we offering this service for free? No, I mean, we're not an NGO, right? But our job is, or our objective and mission is making impact in the ecosystem. We're offering this service, we're bringing everyone together, and then we're able to drive car sales mm -hmm. and car ownership, essentially. Okay, somebody is asking, good job, auto check. Heard they have operations in Ghana. I'm in a town called Tako Radi. Tako yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering if they have coverage here. So not at the moment, but we are expanding to Takoradi. So you see auto check. Okay, very soon. but you didn't drop your name, so we, we, we can't um, say who, who said that. So, hmm. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, now, um, back in the days when uh, there was a certain bank that said, um, very soon, cars will run on water, you know. PHB. We, I don't want to call the name. <laughs> I will help you call it. <laughs> so I love that now band. we have, I did too, mm. now we have electric band, uh, electric cars. So does your, um, we don't have uh, electricity in Nigeria, we all know we that. We do have electricity. Oh, <laughs> okay, let me, re let, me re let me rephrase that. Epileptic electricity we have in Nigeria. Do you think you, your company will be interested in bringing in electric, electric cars to Nigeria based on what we have obtainable currently in Nigeria? So if we have partners that want to bring in electric vehicles into Nigeria, why not? Like I said, AutoCheck, we are well, just yeah. bringing everybody you together and like working with different, different partners. Thing. We're a marketplace. Mm -hmm. okay. So if we have uh, people or companies that want to bring in electric vehicles, why not? In fact, as part of our uh, for us, partner prosperity is very important. Mm -hmm. And even our workshops are aware of the fact that, you know, electric vehicles are becoming a thing, mm -hmm. right? And we, we will solve the electricity problem so in Nigeria. So we will get there. How right? <laughs> global, yeah, you know that global warming, um, the world is, we're trying to reduce carbon emission and all of that. And Nigerians, we have a, we have a passion. That's what they call it. What? For bringing in oh, old, oh, okay. old cars. <laughs> That's our, uh, you know, you go and bring in ah, 2006 model, this model and all of those. All the cars that people have, they are tired of using, they ship it into this country, you know. So is there a way that we can start to project more of, um, what's it called? Um, cleaner energy and all of that, where we are able to ride maybe cars within five years and all of that and bring it at a cheaper cost? Because... 
I will still go back to Nigeria and the cost of living in this country. I mean, dollar inflation, everything is being affected. You know, so is, it, is this a possibility that we can truly solve some of these problems quietly? Because we know that we cannot do without cars in this country. Right. So can we also start to project where we have cleaner cars on our roads, where is less emission and all of that? Is that possible? Is that something that you're doing? So why I'm asking this is, do you, what is the age uh, range of your cars in terms of this is not acceptable? Because I remember when Uber started, they insisted that there was a specific year yeah, that specific cannot, year. you know, but now yes. they accept any kind of car, mm -hmm. you know, Uber because every time the Nigerian factor just always comes and plays. Play. So with auto check, is there a specific to say, you know what, we can't go beyond 2010 model, mm -hmm. we can't go beyond, you know, like that. Is that possible? So to answer your question around even uh, solving some of these problems around what types of cars are we bringing in, it goes back to, again, what I said about the fact that we are working very closely with AMDON, the Association of Motor Dealers of Nigeria, and they are also working with government. So it's by working together as stakeholders such that we can start to improve even things like policies, what types of cars are coming in, how are we maintaining those cars, what type of spare parts are being used to repair those cars. So those, that's something that we are also very passionate about and ensuring that it's not just about sales, it's also about maintenance, it's also about driving automotive growth, it's also about building up the industry mm. for us in Nigeria and actually Africa mm. as a whole, right? And then, uh, sorry, your second question was around... No, we're just talking about the carbon emission, yes, like, so what uh -huh. is your age range now, so to say your cars now within... So for financing, mm. right, not every car would qualify for, for financing. financing. Okay. And that is also very partner dependent, mm. financial partner dependent. What types of cars do they want to finance? But invariably, I mean, we, you probably would not be able to finance a 1999 car, mm. right? But again, certain partners are willing to do certain years. So mm. we don't place a restriction on it because as a marketplace, let's have everybody come in. Mm. They assess what they can finance. But in some cases, you have some partners because there's a market, you talk about Uber, right? Mm -hmm. There's a market around, oh, some 2006 cars, you know, uh, Toyota, those cars really move, mm -hmm. right? So the question is more partner dependent mm -hmm. and what they want to finance. But again, for financing cars, we have to make sure that these are cars that can be properly maintained and can actually last, right? You have to enjoy <laughs> using the car. Using the okay, Ade is, um, is back. Sorry, Ade is, uh, is attacking you. Say, your guest is not opening up oh. <laughs> in her conversation. Can they auto exchange in Nigeria? In the UK, you can do auto exchange to the value of your car. I did auto exchange with my current car now, but added little amount of money to top up my taste of car. The terms and condition is the danger part of the contract. <laughs> it's still going back. <laughs> Richard, I uh, sorry, Adam from the UK. <laughs> you can trade in your car. You can. Absolutely. If I give you my car now, you will not tell me to go and bring one big money. I don't think trading actually is Works. favorable in this country. I, I don't, don't know. Think so I, don't I don't think, don't think so either. I don't think so. Yeah, you're going I to feel say like something. When, when people are trying to trade in their cars, you have to do a lot of assessments on that car. Because... <laughs> It is even difficult to buy, if Ua wants to sell her car to me, I'll find it difficult to actually buy from her. Mm -hmm. Not because I think her car is bad, but because I know that the road network is not good. And then there are lots of issues with a lot of cars. I love so your I answer don't trust that. It. I love your, that statement, right? Because you are not able to absolutely trust the car. Why? Because you're not sure of the condition of the car. Mm. And that's what we are doing. By inspecting that car and checking all the different parts of that car so that when that car is listed on the platform so you can list it on the platform and somebody makes you an offer so you can list your car but if she is looking at your car she can actually see the different sections of mm, your car mm. or oh, we've inspected the engine we've inspected the exterior we've inspected the suspension with the ac mm. and so you can make an informed decision about mm. whether you're buying her car or not mm. Mm. Okay, so my other question Final is, question, yeah, quickly. My other question is, you said that not every cause that the um, financial partners will agree to finance. Mm -hmm. um, so what if somebody comes and then all the financial partners say no? What happens? 
they say no to so the, financing the car that I want to buy. No, no, remember, you're coming to our platform. You can go through the app or the website. You can see the different cars that you want. And then you can pick the ones that are financed. So you actually see it on the platform. It would show you auto, finance, auto check financing available and also give you an estimate of mm. how much you pay monthly on that car. Mm. Is, there, is there a platform where someone can actually request for a car that is not on your platform yet? Yes. So no. you can tell us you want a car, you haven't found it on our platform, and we can source for that car oh, for you. Oh, and, and now you are talking. Are we, are we check you people out? Maury, because Maury said we are all... Soon, just putting it out there. <laughs> <laughs> Maury, because you say we don't come to you, let me give you the final word. Oh, yeah, bless us tonight. <laughs> The final, final question. Thank you. Thank you for the honor, ladies and ladies. <laughs> so, um, what, 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 what makes you, what's that one thing, you know, that stands you out from, like, the rest of the people that you're in business with? Like, why should we come to you? Why should we choose you? Why should it be you? Okay. So, come to AutoCheck for verified cars and for auto financing. Car loans. Get car loans and trust the car that you're buying. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for that short answer. All right, so it's been a fantastic conversation. We're hoping that young people that are watching now, we don't, they don't feel that burden that I must get complete money. That was why we brought this conversation exactly. tonight because people actually need cars. Cars are necessities. They are not, it's not a luxury, luxury especially in Lagos. I don't even know about any other place in Lagos. It is a necessity. I remember when my younger sister first came to Lagos, I told her, you're going to be doing your NYC. Better go and get a car. <laughs> and she got a car. And that was what made her life easy, easy. in Lagos. It is, exactly. not, it is not a necessity. I mean, it, I mean, it's not it a, a luxury. It's a, luxury. It's a it necessity. Isn't. So please, I mean, reach out to them. All right, so Waze was birthed from the need to inform, inspire, and influence lives towards action. And this year, we started our CSR focus on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. So if you are a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots. And if you're a job seeker, keep watching Waze and follow us on all our social media handles as this will be an all-year-round engagement. So tell your friends to keep all eyes on ways. Now in case you missed today's quote by our Barack Obama, I just want to say that the only thing less popular than putting money into banks is putting money into the auto industry. So governments, try. <laughs> try, try, try. When they start to manufacture, auto check will give us at a cheaper rate. Exactly. We'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy.